He is mine. He is mine. Joy in my soul. Peace in my mind. He is mine. He is mine. Jesus, I know he is mine. Oh, he is mine. He is mine. Joy in my soul. Peace in my mind. He is mine. He is mine. Jesus, I know he is mine. Oh, he is mine. He is mine. Joy in my soul, peace in my mind. He is mine. He is mine. Jesus, I know he is mine. Oh, he is mine. He is mine. Joy in my soul, peace in my mind. He is mine. He is mine. Jesus, I know he is mine all day long, all day long. Joy in my soul, peace in my mind all day long, all day long. Jesus, I know he is mine. Oh, he is mine. He is mine. Joy in my soul. Peace in my mind, he is mine, he is mine. Jesus, I know he is mine. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, the Rock Church. God bless you. Good morning, Elder and Sister Dorset. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Turner. God bless you. Good morning, Mika. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Shy. God bless you. Good morning, Jewel. God bless you. Good morning, Eleanor. God bless you. Good morning, Dr. Harrison. Good morning, Sister Jackson. Good morning. Good morning. Greener Pastures over here. Good morning. Good morning, Reese. God bless you, Grace. Good morning to you. Good morning, little Bruce Lee. Good morning, Sister Banks. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Polk. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon Davis. God bless you, Mother Barbara and the family. Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning, Bishop and Mother Joseph. God bless you, your family, and all the saints of Trinidad, Tobago. Good morning, Duchess. God bless you, Brother Aaron and the family. Good morning, Sister Pam. God bless you, Deacon Joseph Davis and Mother Pearl Davis and your entire family. Good morning, Sister Rosefoot. Good morning, Sister McAfee. Good morning, Sister Matthews. Good morning, Sister Jackson Perry. God bless you, Brother Perry, and your family, and we're holding you in prayer. Good morning, Latasia. God bless you. Good morning, and your family. Good morning, Sister Francine. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Judy. Good morning, Margot. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning, Sister Stimson. God bless you, Deacon Stimson and your family. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Morris. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Sister Hollis. Good morning, Sister Sarah. Good morning, Minister and Mother Morris. Good morning, Marlette. God bless you. Good morning, Carmelita. Good morning, Sister Chambliss. God bless you. Good morning, Missionary Domingo. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Street. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Rosalind. Good morning, my dear Angela Davis. God bless you, Deacon Daryl and the family. Good morning, Sister Tibbs. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Tammy. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Walker. Good morning, Minister Scott. Good morning, Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to spend a few moments with you with a biblical meditation and in prayer. For more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And every day we see the manifestation of God through the function of prayer. People praying and believing God and God answering those prayers. I know that God answers prayer, saints, and I know that you do as well. And so we are thanking God for just the privilege of prayer. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share it with us. If you're on Facebook, you can place it right into the chat or you can inbox Reginald Davis or inbox Refuge Temple Church. If you're on Instagram, you can place your request in the chat 
or you can um, send it by direct message to Pastor RJD, Pastor RJD, and to everybody on the conference call. And we thank God for all of our conference call listeners. Everybody on YouTube or anybody can text in your prayer request. The number is 336 336- Five six seven five three five eight. Again, you can text your prayer request to three three six five six seven five three five eight. We're adding them to the prayer list. We're praying over them, and we are believing God with you for miracle signs and wonders. I know, Hallelujah, that God is able to do it. Let's go to the Word, everybody. Back to the Book of Psalms, to the one hundred. And 47th Psalm, and we're going to read verses 7 through 11. Psalm 147, verses 7 through 11. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the harp up unto our God, who covereth the heaven with clouds, who prepareth rain for the earth, who maketh grass to grow upon the mountains, who giveth to the beast his food, and to the young ravens which cry. He delighteth not in the strength of the horse. He taketh not pleasure in the legs of a man. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him, in those that hope in his mercy, in those that hope in his mercy. And I want to talk to you for a few moments this morning from the subject, thank God for provision. Thank God for provision. No matter what means provision is made, all provision comes from God. The Bible says he giveth us the power to get wealth. That means whether it's your physical strength or your intellectual strength, or your skill, or your hobbies, God provides the strength for us to get wealth. He turns that talent, whatever that talent might be, into a livelihood. And it comes from God, because God gave you whatever it is you're using to make a living. God gave it to you so that he could use it to make provision in your life. Gives the farmer the ability to plant the seed and to sow and to water and to fertilize and to grow crops and to be able to sell those crops once again for provision gives us the power to get wealth if there is no seeming ability he has provided whether it's through the care of family to you whether it's through pension whether it's through social security whether it's through disability, God somehow has made a way and made provision. And I don't know if we thank him enough. You know, sometimes because you're the one going to work, you think you're the one making the provision, but you're not doing it. God is doing it. Hallelujah. Just because the check has the U.S. government's name on it doesn't mean it came from you. You know, people came from them rather. People always want to take credit. I remember during the pandemic, they were trying to find a way to put the president's signature on the uh, on the stimulus check so that he could get the credit for what came when there's no legal provision for a president to sign a government check. All of this is people trying to take credit for what God has done. And if you're living, if you're breathing, if you're moving, if you're eating, if you're sleeping in a house, whatever it is that you possess, it is because God has done it. And so we are celebrating, hallelujah, his provision. We are celebrating it. And every believer ought to be in the mode of thanksgiving. Let me say it again. I know we celebrate Thanksgiving in November, but every believer every day ought to be in the mode of thanksgiving. If you got up this morning and and a roof was over your head, you should have been saying, thank you, Jesus. If you were able to put on clothes, thank you, Jesus. If you were able, hallelujah, to find food in the kitchen, thank you, Jesus. If you're going to the car or you're getting on the bus or the subway and you have the fare to do it, you ought to be saying, thank you, Jesus, because 
because he is making the provision. Every good, hallelujah, and perfect gift, the Bible says, comes from God. That means everything we possess, however the Lord has provided it, we ought to be giving God praise and thanking him for what he has done because he's the one that does it. Thank God. Thank God for provision. So the psalmist says, sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the harp unto our God. You know, we ought to put as much energy and thanking God for the provision in, that, that we do in using the provision. We'll spend the money. We'll swipe the card. We'll, we'll go into the, the bank and pull it out and we'll pay for this and pay for that. But as you're paying for it, are you thanking God for making the provision in your life? And the psalmist goes on, who covereth the earth with clouds who prepareth rain for the earth. He's showing us the life cycle here. It starts with the water. It starts with the water. The heavens bring the water and waters the earth and the earth grows the vegetation. Look at the text. Who prepareth rain for the earth, who maketh grass to grow upon the mountains. So this is God making provision. He's providing for the animals. He's providing for the birds. He's providing for the oxen and the cattle and all the things that we use, hallelujah, to make a livelihood. He's providing, hallelujah, the substance, the substance for those things, hallelujah who maketh grass to grow upon the mountains. He giveth to the beast his food. He gives the food to the animals. Hallelujah. You might be the one shoveling the hay, but God has provided the means for you to have the hay. He's making the provision. And to the young raven which cry, he's making the provision. He's giving the birds their food. He's giving the animals their food. He delighteth not in the strength of the horse. Now here is an animal that has a a reputation for pride. It has a reputation. Horses stand tall. They look regal in their walk and they, and, and they prance in pride. And so it's really an illusion of pride that those people who walk around telling you what they did, how much they make, where they, where they got their schooling and what they, their connections and all the things that they did. Hallelujah. The Bible says he doesn't delight in them. God has a problem with proud people taking credit credit for what he does. Oh, hallelujah. He has a problem with proud people taking credit for what he does. If it had not been for the Lord who was on our sides, I would not wish this on everybody, but because I know what it's like not to have provision, because I know what it's like to wonder how I'm going to eat tonight, because I know what it's like to wonder if the rent's going to get paid or if the light bill is going to be paid or the gas bill is going to be paid or the car note is going to be met because I know that hallelujah every time God makes a way for me I say thank you hallelujah because I have hallelujah because ministry sometimes depends on what I'm able to receive and what I'm able to disperse and when money comes in for ministry I'm thanking God that he's made the provision so that ministry can go on so that people can be blessed so that life can continue for others I'm thanking God today because he he has not failed. And so he doesn't, the, the, he does not take delight in the strength of the horse. He does not take pleasure in the legs of the man. Those people that say, I'm standing on my own two feet. I'm standing on my own two feet. No, you're standing on the promises of God. You're standing on the provision of God. Your feet didn't do it. Hallelujah. Because if God didn't give you the health to get up and go to the job, you would have never made the money. So you're not standing on your own two feet. You're standing on the provision and the promises of God. He is making a way. He is opening the door. He is blessing coming in. Hallelujah. And going out. He's providing every moment of every day. That's what God is doing. Hallelujah. So I'm thankful to him for provision. I'm thankful to him. Hallelujah. And God takes pleasure. He doesn't take pleasure in the, in the horse, the prideful animal. He doesn't take pleasure in the proud man, but he taketh pleasure in them that fear him. Who will honor God and say, Lord, you made a way. Hallelujah. One day I was sitting here 
And I love that little song only because you made a way. And I started thinking about all the times that God had provided. And I was sitting here. It was after morning prayer. And I just began to cry and praise God because I said, honestly, the only reason I'm standing here is because you made a way. Hallelujah. You did it. I could not have done it by myself. I could not have done it by my own volition. But I thank God. I thank God. God for making a way for us. Hallelujah. He taketh pleasure in those that honor him, those that reverence him, those that are respectful of his goodness in their lives. Hallelujah. He taketh pleasure in those that hope in his mercy. Because yes, you hear me say it a lot. It's of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassion fails not, but it's made new every morning. Every morning is made new. Great, hallelujah, is thy faithfulness. God continues to show mercy to us and we continue to show gratitude to him and we are thankful and we are thankful and we are thankful to the Lord for all that he has done. I'm thanking God today for provision because everything in my life has come from God. Hallelujah, my education, my career, hallelujah, the salary, whatever I've received, hallelujah, it has come from God. God has touched the hearts of people, hallelujah, to be a blessing to me professionally. And that's why I've been able to continue in this way. I'm grateful today, God, hallelujah. I'm grateful today, saints, because God has made the provision. And if God, if you're with us this morning, if you're walking, moving, breathing, eating, sleeping, whatever, driving, whatever you're doing, it's because because God has made the provision. And yes, hallelujah, I thank God that he takes pleasure in those that hope in his mercy. Why? Because he didn't have to do it. He didn't have to do it. He didn't have to do it, but God did it for us and we ought to be grateful to him for whatever we've provided. We can look across this planet Hallelujah. And it's not that God loves some better than he loves others, but we see the poverty. We see the hunger. We see the drought. Hallelujah. That's come upon different countries that stop that cycle we just described with the water coming and the vegetation coming and the animals being fed so the people can eat. There are places right now in drought and in starvation and the rest of the world is having to provide for that part of the globe. But if you're in the part where there's food, there's water, there's provision, there's abundance. You ought to be the first one on your feet, the first one with your hands in the air saying, Lord, I thank you because you have provided. Hallelujah. A heart full of gratitude for what God has done. Saints, I thank him today for provision. I thank him today for making a way. I thank him today for opening a door and for blessing us this morning. And I want all of you to join me in that thankful praise unto God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he is so good. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for each of you and thank God for this word. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Gracious God, we love you. We thank you for your goodness your mercy, your grace, your love to us. Lord, you continue to show us favor and we are grateful for the favor. You continue to make a way and we're grateful, Lord, that you have made the way. We thank you, God, for every person that has joined us today. Thank you for last night's rest and thank you for waking us this morning in our right mind and we were able to get prepared, God, to join this great cadre of believers from all over the world. I thank you today for the morning prayer family. And I thank you not only for the family, but for what you're doing in the family. Lord, you are helping, you are saving, you are strengthening, you are encouraging, you are edifying, you are building the family of God. And I thank you, God, for what you're doing. I thank you, God, for always making a way. Hallelujah. Always opening a door. Always. Making provision. And God, I thank you for it right now. I thank you for everybody on the prayer line. 
I thank you for every request that has come in because it is a miracle in the making. And I thank you for it right now. And Lord, I'm praying for everybody on this prayer line, every name that's in the chat, every name sent by text or messenger or email, every unspoken request, God, we are lifting up to you now. We're praying, my God, that you would remember, oh God, hallelujah, Michael Thornton, remember Chief Otha Hester, remember Nakia Harris, remember Wanda Sidney, Troy Tyler, God, remember Lakeisha Therrington, Catherine Therrington, Quentin White, Damian Morton today, Tammy Davis and family, remember Judy Smith today, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we're praying today that you remember, oh God, Jamal and Erica, remember Buddy Winston, remember Sharon Willis, Shardell Willis, April Willis, Raymond Niblett today, Tommy Harrison, Carson Blackwell, Austin Blackwell, Aubrey Blackwell today, remember the Mason family, God, remember, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, Lord God, everybody, hallelujah, on this prayer line this morning. God, remember, hallelujah, oh God, families everywhere. Remember Brian Reeves and his family. Remember Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson today. Remember Irvin Johnson, God, and sin, mighty deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember Mother Pittman. Remember Sister Smith's son. Remember Sister Sheila Reed. Remember Stacy and Trayvon today. Remember Deacon Lewis. Remember Remember Cheryl and Leon Bradley. Remember Sister Crowder, her husband and her son. Remember Kaitha today. Remember Sister Edwards and her family. Remember Sister Seneca Austin. Remember my God, Lady Lisa Kinchin today. Remember my God, Sister Pamela Johnson. Hallelujah. Remember Donna Johnson. Remember Mother Rogers. Remember Carolyn Lawton today. Remember my God, Francine Harrison. God be with her and go before her in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I'm praying today that you remember Oh God, Bishop and Mother Joseph, Bishop and Lady Alde, Bishop and Mother Wright, Bishop and Lady Wilkins, Bishop and Lady Cousins, Bishop and Mother Darby, Bishop Sylvester Reed, Bishop and Lady Jenkins today, Bishop and Lady Davenport. God, remember Bishop, my God, and Mother Smith. Remember Apostle and Lady Keith, Apostle and Lady Barry, Apostle Michael Fields, Apostle and Mother Jackson, Apostle and Mother May today. Remember Apostle and Lady Parsons, Apostle and Mother Clark. God, remember Dr. Hayward and his family. I pray for District Elder and Lady Crowder today. I pray for Mother Crowder, for Mother Thompson today, for the Rock family, for Robert Jr. and family. I pray for Brandy Holden's nieces and nephews. I pray for Bible Way Church, God. I pray for the McAthony family. I pray for Jennifer Alexander and family, for Grace Hood, for the Saunders family, the Jacobs family. God, I pray for our president today, oh God, and the government in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for everybody on this prayer line today. Lord, save, save, save. To the utmost, God, let them hear the word. Let them believe the word. Let them repent of their sins and be born of the water and of the spirit. Lord, reclaim and restore the backslider. Lord, go where they are. Follow them, pursue them, and bring them back into the fold in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And remember the disheartened. Remember the downcast. Remember the broken, the burdened, the depressed, those in despair, those that are discouraged and God lift their head and strengthen them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, I'm praying today that you remember the sick everywhere. God, sick people, oh God, those recovering from surgery, those fighting diseases, Lord, remember them in the name of Jesus and touch their bodies. Remember Deborah Robertson, Joanne Smith, Sister Jackie Poole, Mother Lillian Sharp. Remember, oh God, Charity Stroman. God, touch in the name of Jesus. Oh, Oh God and work a miracle. Remember my God, missionary Teresa Holt. Remember, hallelujah, Deacon Ganey today. Remember Brother Crowder. Remember Cynthia Jackson Perry. God intervene. Oh God and heal now in the name of Jesus. Bishop Keith Young. Lord Sister Josephine Gibson. Missionary Anita Bryant. Elder James Welch, Mother June Dixon today. Remember Ethelene Smith. Remember my God, Brother Morris. Remember Deacon Marquise Rose. Remember Brother Chris Wright today. God, remember Arlene's grandfather. Remember James. Remember Vicki Carter, Rebecca Simmons, Raymond, Hallelujah Dryer. Remember Bobby today. Remember Dolores Mitchell, Antoine Wilkerson, Sheila Friesen today, Kenny Curry, Dante's sister. Remember Felix Boatwright today. Remember Dr. Spellman's brother 
father-in-law. Remember my God, Maya Watson, Michael Haywood, Frankie Parker. God, I lift up, oh God, Lady Peggy Lee Young today. God, I pray for healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Zanita McNeil, Sister Florence Jackson, Michelle Taylor, Barbara Dews, KB Lee, Elder Tony Chu, Elder Tony Lemon today, Dewanda Parker, Marquise Dykes, Juliet Johnson today. Remember my God in the name of Jesus, Sister Hattie Jeffries today. Lord, I pray for healing right now for Minister Perkins, for Deacon. Oh God, I pray, oh God, for Xavier and Daniel. I pray for Deacon Adams today, Deacon and Mother ha Wilson today, Deacon and Sister Harrison, God. I pray for Brother Phil Solomon, God. I pray, my God, that you remember Elder Toll, Elder Toll's mother, Elder Dokes today. I pray, God, that you remember Mother Virgie DuBose. Remember, my God, Mother Mary Williams. Remember Mother Lloyd, Mother Perry, Mother Meadows today. God, I pray for Missionary Janet Davis, Missionary Joyce Domingo, Missionary Gail Hardy. I pray, my God, for Missionary Marlene Roseman, Missionary, hallelujah, Jesse Brisbane. I pray for Missionary Hodges today, praying today for healing. My God, for Sister Denise McLean, for Mother Elizabeth Wilson. God, I'm praying for healing. Oh God, for Brother Carl, for Deacon James Grant, for God, for Philip Grant today, for Pastor and Lady Winston, for Bishop and Mother D, for Apostle and Lady Keith today. I pray, God, that you remember in the name of Jesus, Bishop Alfonso Brooks, Bishop Early Dillard. Remember, my God, in your precious name, hallelujah, Mother, hallelujah, Evangeline Jenkins. Remember Mother Shirley Clark. Remember, my God, Lady Andrea Maxwell, Mother Close today. Remember, my God, Mother Carol Coleman, Sister Shakaya Polk. I pray today for Bishop Richard Phillips, Bishop Richard Johnson, Bishop Clonell Williams, Bishop Gregory Wilder, Bishop Irving Taylor, Bishop Alvin Palmer, Bishop Larry Arnold, Bishop Stephen Harper, Bishop Brian Williams, Bishop William Jenkins. Remember, my God, Bishop Johnny Davis today. Remember, in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, Lady J. Remember Lady Williams, Lady Kathy Forehand, Lady Barbara Vincent, Lady Deborah Carter, Lady Pamela Davenport, Mother Stokes today. God, stretch out your healing virtue in the name of Jesus Christ. God, remember, oh God, because we know you're able. Remember my God, hallelujah, Elder and Mother Dugan, Elder and Mother Murray, Brother and Mother Chambers today, Mother Carter, Mother Moorhead, Lady Staten. Remember Minister Carr today. Remember Elder Tyson and Elder Smith. Lord, I pray today that you remember in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Everybody that's suffering in their body, God touch them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Mother Foster Henry J. Brother Cliff today. I pray my God for Mother Tanaj, Mother Home and Missionary Simmons. I pray God that you remember Cynthia. Hallelujah. I pray God that you remember Cynthia Kathleen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. God remember, oh God, Marlette today. Remember Maurice. Remember Tony. Remember Kimberly. Remember my God Cynthia. Remember in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mother Jackson and Apostle Moultrie. God look into every hospital and remember the sick there in nursing homes, rehab centers. Lord, wherever people are that are sick, Lord, even those watching today that might be suffering in their bodies, God touch and heal now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, we pray for the grieving this morning everywhere. God, people everywhere are grieving losses. Lord God, and we're praying, my God, that you would touch and comfort their heart, comfort their spirit today in the name of Jesus Christ. We're praying today for Minister Jamie Carr and his family, Sister Janelle Rousen and her family. We're praying for Mother Sally Carr and her family, Bishop Henry Davenport, his siblings and family, Sister Cheryl Wilson, my God, her sisters and the family. Remember Sister Kimberly Clark. Remember Sister Lady Carla Cubitt today. Remember my God, Catherine Green and the, remember the Robinson family. Remember the Ellis family, Cliff Staten and family, Gloria Smith and family, Asaka Brown. Remember District Elder Willie Shy and Deacon Michael Shy and the entire Shy family. Remember baby Charlotte's family. Remember the Taylor family. Remember Duchess, oh God, and her family. Remember Miss Lynn, oh God, Bonkiva and family. Remember Anaya Hatcher, Diana Williams today. Remember my God, Elder and Mother Dugan this morning. Remember and their family. Remember my God, Deborah Bedford and family. The Berea family. Giselle Berea and family. Remember Deliver Driver's family and friends. Remember the Martin family. Josette's family. Kathleen Murphy and family. The Greenfield family. Shatakaya's herd and family. Remember, my God, the families of the slain police officers. Remember the family, oh God, of that young serviceman that was shot by the police, God. Remember the Frazier family. 
Remember the Charles family, the Jeffries family. Remember Sister Jacobs family. Remember Archie Thorpe Jr. and family. Pamela McLaughlin's family. Remember the Mount Olivet Baptist Church. Remember the Roberts family today. God, I pray that you remember in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mother Walker, Mother Moya. Oh God, remember Jaleesa. Remember Jackie. Remember Jerry. Remember Takesha. Remember Phoenicia and Whitney and their families. God, I pray today that you remember in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, remember hallelujah, Lady Maxwell, Charles and Cedric and the family. Remember my God, Dr. Carter and the family. Apostle Phil Shekinah and the family. Remember Mother Close today, God. Remember in the name of Jesus. Oh God, hallelujah the Quarles family. Remember my God, Mother Harrell and the family. Remember Mother Grant and the family. Remember the Groover family, the Kramer family. Hallelujah, the Hargrove family, the Blunt family. Remember the Bonhams, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters, the Giles family today. God, remember my God, the Meadows family, the Moya family, the Perkins family, the Dockery family, Sister Pam, her mom and her sisters today. God, remember in the name of Jesus, the White family. Remember Anita and the Brian Hopkins family. Margie and the McLean Melvin and street families. Remember the Ransom family, the Jackson family, the Newkirk family, the Ned family, the Green family. God, remember my God. Hallelujah. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, the Nunn family, the Umstead family. Remember Brenda and the Allen McNeely family. Sean and Monique and the Gary Porter family. Trell and Ryan and the Allen Williams family. God, remember my God, Tommy and Michelle and the Clark family. God, I pray God that you remember in the name of Jesus, every grieving person everywhere, the maze, the Dun Laps, the Purdy's, the Sneeds, the Washington Fields family, the Winninghams, the Bankses, the Middletons, the Taylors, the Wades, hallelujah, the Bankses. God, remember them. Remember the Felix family, the Sapata family, the Mannix, the Boojums, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins, the Briggs family. God, remember the Taylors, the Phillips, the Josephs. Look on the Davises today, the Allens, the Caldwells, the Hayses, the Moors, the Austins, the Harbisons, the Adams, the Austin family. Every grieving widow, every grieving widower, every child, parent, sibling, loved one. God, comfort and keep them now. Lord, I pray today for the body of Christ. Every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher. I pray for every bishop and elder. I pray, God, that you remember oh God, every first lady, all the pastors, children, mothers and missionaries, ministers and deacons, the young people of the church, God. Remember musicians, singers, and psalmists, the entire body of Christ today. Lord, continue to provide for us. Lord, we cannot make it without you. So God, Grant us provision. Make a way, open a door. Oh God, remember first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. Remember school employees and teachers everywhere. Remember Durham Public Schools. God, I pray today in the name of Jesus that you remember, hallelujah, everybody that works. Cover them, keep them, protect them. Everybody that needs a job. God, make provision, create an opportunity. And everybody on a fixed income, God, provide, make a way, let the ends meet. God. And God, look at this troubled world today. Trouble all over the globe. But God, we are looking to you. We are trusting you, God, to make a way to open a door. So bless the people today, God. And Lord, heal the land. Heal the land from sin. Heal the land from unrighteousness. Heal the land from hatred and jealousy and violence. Heal the land from injustice. Heal the land from racism and sexism. And let your church be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. God, we need you today like never before. So bless us, provide for us, and God, we give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, come on, let's give God praise right now. Everybody on the line, come on and give God praise right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. This is my declaration for today. I hope in the Lord's mercy. I hope in the Lord's mercy. I know for a fact that everything that God has provided in my life is a result of the mercy of God. God owes me nothing. God owes me nothing. God owes me nothing. I'm not entitled to anything, but whatever I have received, God has made the provision, hallelujah, in my life. And I thank God for it because I know it's because of his mercy. 
It's because of his faithfulness and his goodness. And I am thankful and I will praise him because I know the Lord has been good. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm trusting that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you and that your day is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day today. This prayer service is available on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thank God for those that join us by conference call. Keep sharing the number. Keep coming and stay with us in prayer each morning at 630. You can also stay connected through our podcast, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, SoundCloud, and Spotify. All of this available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Let me thank everybody that sees and sows and shares with this ministry. Your gifts help us to do the things that we need to do. And we thank God for them and we thank God for you. And if you desire to be a blessing, you can mail a gift to Refuge Temple Church, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. That's P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can also give online. Hallelujah. Our website is www.refugetemple, N as in North, C as in Carolina.com, Temple NC.com. And you can give on the donate page. You can also share through the Givelify app. Just type in Refuge Temple Burlington. You'll see a picture of the church and you can make your gift there. Or if you have Cash App, our Cash App is dollar sign, capital O-N-E, capital R-E-F-U-G-E, One Refuge, One Refuge. And you can make your gift there. You'll see a picture of the church logo. And we thank you for your giving. We thank you for everyone that um, was a blessing to Founders Day. God bless you. We're still receiving gifts. So if you want to be a blessing, you can still do that. Oh, God, next week, next Friday and Saturday is the Ecclesia Diocese Convocation. I am the bishop of the Ecclesia Diocese of the Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. And our churches are coming together at Refuge Temple in Burlington Friday night at 730 and again Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. We're gathering together. You can come and be with us. We have as our guest speaker, Elder Daryl D- David Hollis. I'm sorry, Elder David Hollis from Gary, Indiana. We have also Pastor and Lady um, Powell that'll be sharing. Pastor um, Philip Brown that'll be sharing. I'll be sharing. It's going to be a great convocation, and you don't want to miss it. So come and join us Friday night at seven. Next Friday night, the 17th at 7:30, and the 18th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And the Lord is going to surely bless you. You can still travel with us to the Caribbean. Please go online to our Facebook page and click the link. Fill out the form. They'll get back in touch with you. There's still time to reserve your room. There's still time to get your plane ticket and go with us to St. Luke, St. Kitts, Jamaica, and St. Lucia. And I know God's going to bless us in a wonderful way. And we're going to be a blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. Saints, I thank God and I love this morning prayer family because hallelujah, God is using us to bless people all over the world. So please keep coming, keep sharing this prayer and keep praying. And as you pray, pray for me, pray for Lady Davis, pray for our children, pray for my father, my sisters, my in-laws, our nieces, our nephews, our entire family. Pray for Refuge Temple that God would continue to bless us. And let's pray one for another that the grace of God might keep us and sustain us in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord continue to make provision for us. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom, shalom.